Yo guys, Dom here. Um, I have never done this before, so I'm not usually uploading. Uh, this is my first upload of anything ever. Uh, and I have no video editing skills whatsoever, so I just jumped in straight into the Mr. Phillips um, mission, which requires you four different objectives in order to get your gold medal, which are the Lost and Damned, killing the two bikers that are following the van, uh, trashing the trailer just by holding down the accelerate accelerate button you cannot screw that up uh, headshots which I have not been able to do along with uh, no survivors uh, requirement um, it's kind of hard because it's hectic it's it's a complete frenzy over there once you get to the camp uh, and um, you can just go back once you get the no survivors requirement done just go back replay the mission and go for the headshots and your previously acquired requirements will stay right where they are so uh, this video is just to show you uh, the most simple way I mean it's not simple you do have to know it by heart as I do but once you get to know this tactic by heart uh, you won't you, you'll get the no survivor requirement on your every single try so, if you want to get the mission time requirement, which I did not mention earlier, I'm sorry. Make sure to, to skip all the cutscenes and don't mind my, my... My bad driving. So, first you want to get rid of those two bikers right there. And then we chase the van. Now, like I said, I don't have any video editing skills. Uh, so, I'm just gonna record all of this and you can just skip through this but for you there are uh, with me right now I'm gonna talk a bit more about it so there's a, a specific tactic that I use and I always get it on the first try now this is something that I have been practicing it's not something that I um, came up with on my first try it's something that I just learned uh, through replaying the mission uh, many times so uh, also a uh, good thing to know if you're going for a hundred percent completion uh, as I do on this playthrough which is my probably eighth playthrough in my lifetime there's a stunt jump uh, here somewhere Ron would also mention it so if you're going for your stunt jumps make sure to complete this one so you don't have to get back to it once you Finish the main story. All right, I think I failed this one. Oh, it's completed. Great. So, yeah, uh, basically, uh, I will pause the the game uh, once we reach the camp, so I can give you a quick heads up on what I do and how I do it. You have to be fast. You have to be efficient, and that's why you actually cannot get the headshots. I mean, maybe you can, but. I, I, I couldn't, so I just go back and, and, and um, finish the headshot requirements, uh, the headshots requirement uh, afterwards. So, yeah, now we are closing in on the camp, which is right there on the left. And I, I don't even know how, how bad quality of this video will be, so uh, bear with me and cut me some slack. Because, like I said, I'm not a content creator. I don't have any skills whatsoever. I just want to show you the best way because I did not see it happen on YouTube. So now I'm pausing the game. Um, as you can see, uh, where the van is, right n uh, next to the van on its left side, there's a trailer which you will be using as a cover uh, immediately after you exit the truck. Now, while, while in the cover, grab two quick kills. Uh, and then start running directly towards the, those two bodies that you have dropped. Two more guys will appear in front of you. You kill them. Uh, then two guys will exit the trailer on the left side. You kill them. And then there's uh, a guy pops up right behind you. So you need to shoot him, uh, him as well. And then we'll continue. So let's go. Hold the perimeter, fuckwits. Daddy's going now. to work. They cover. I use the shotgun because it's the most efficient. One, two. Now, you run straight towards. I turn on my special ability here, just not to take any damage. One, two. Guys in front of you, like I said. Trailer. One, two. Right 
behind you. One. Okay. Now I turn off. I take cover until the truck comes in. Okay, truck is coming in. So I turn my specialty again. I kill him. Trevor reloads. And I continue going through this way. Uh, I continue going this way. I'm sorry. I kill this dude. Now, I kill this guy on the top. And then I take care of the bikers and the guy on the porch by exploding the gas canister. And now, we want to go here. Wait for mo two more bikers, which who will get off their bikes and try to kill you. So, bear that in mind. And now we go around. This is very, very important to go around. And we don't mind the guy on the right because we will eventually get to him. Now, there, yeah, uh, the guy is gonna pop up here. Turn on your specialty because he starts shooting immediately. Now I'll pause again. So uh, this part is where it actually gets tricky because now you're closing in on uh, people starting running away, right? So what you wanna do here is once I continue, once you continue from here, go straight through those two trailers. Now, some people will start appearing here. You take care of them as soon as you kill those three guys, or maybe even first guy or second guy, or all of all three of them, it doesn't matter. Those guys that spawn over here will start running away. So this is where, where actually most people fail the mission because they go like kill this guy, then kill this guy, then one guy start, starts running towards the beach and once, one starts running towards the northwest. So you want to kill those guys here and then uh, sprint your way over here or cut through here. I think somewhere here is a, a small passage which can help you cut through even faster and catch them while they're running away. So uh, I think I was clear enough. So let's continue. Customer base. Now, like I said, close in on them. Turn on your specialty. One, two. Now the blips turn blue, which means that they are running away. So now I'm, I hide my, hide my gun and I run over here and I take out my shotgun. One, two. Okay, there, there wasn't two, but now will be. And let's hope we catch this mofo running away. Okay, we will. He's slow as fuck. So I'll take my shotgun out, get rid of him, and that's it. So yeah, like you probably uh, have seen I did not go for headshots because I, I was focusing on getting the the no survivors objective done so um, I have just passed this mission like 10 minutes ago and now I'm replaying it to to record this because I haven't played GTA 5 in like year and a half but I remember this mission very very well and I remember the tactic very very well so if you do like this you will get the no survivors um, objective every every single time so quick two kills in the cover run towards them kill two guys in the front kill two guys that exit the trailer kill the guy behind you continue running on, uh, on the road kill guys that appear in front of you kill the bikers then kill the guy up top and then blow the canister which will kill both bikers and and the guy on the porch, then wait for more two bikes, or am I am I mentioning too much bikes? Probably I am, but you get the picture. Then kill those two bikers that get off their bikes, and then go around until the guy, I'm sorry for pausing again, until the guy in this trailer pops up, kill him, pause, take a deep breath, and sprint over here, kill them, cut cut through here, kill them, and you're, you're golden, so. I hope this will help. So yeah, if you're not sure about your headshots, just get grab one, one headshot over here as well. Go back to the van. Wait for a nervous run to come back in. And like I said, I don't have any editing skills and I don't even bother learning about it. So I don't know if and how to cut the video and... Um, I, I even tried um, for another video that I was making for uh, job purposes. Uh, I, I was recording it on my PS5 and I um, transferred it over to my 
MacBook, uh, and I tried converting it, but uh, whichever converter I was using, it w it had like a water stamp uh, at the middle of the screen. Uh, they wanted me to pay for the subscription to remove this water stamp, and I didn't bother. So yeah, just bear with me until we get to the trailer and see uh, if we managed to get the objective, but I, I really think we did. Uh, I have never actually counted the number of bikers you have to kill, so you can keep the count of them. And if you, if there's like 25 and you kill 20 and you count up to 24, make sure to kill yourself and retry because you won't get the checkpoint, um, the checkpoint message once you kill them all on your second try. So, moment of truth, skipping the cutscenes for the mission time requirement. And there we are. So yeah, no survivors. Done. Mission time done. Trail of trash done. Lost and then done. Done. And now we can go back and go for headshots. And once we finish the mission, we'll have the 100% or the golden medal. But if you're a pedantic person and want to solve everything in one go, make sure to do so. And um, I don't know. Thank you for watching. Do not subscribe. Do not. I mean, you can like the video and leave a comment if you want to, but I, I don't expect uh, anything um, from me anymore because I don't do this. I just wanted to to show you this because this works in 100% of cases if you do it as I did, and uh, you'll be good. So, again, thank you for watching, and maybe I'll catch you in the next one if there ever is one. Bye-bye. Peace.